Hello, hello, hello. Hello, everyone. In this video, we're going to see the differences between the current iPad, iPad Air, and iPad Pro. We're going to do the comparison in four different categories, performance, screen, camera, and accessories. We want it to be a little easier for you to know which one to choose. Absolutely all iPads today have powerful chips and a neural engine that offers advanced machine learning features. We'll start with the 10th generation iPad, where we find an A14 Bionic chip with neural engine. With this iPad, you'll have enough power and performance to do things like edit a 4K video in iMovie, or play your favorite games and still enjoy all-day battery life. For the entire day, in terms of the iPad Air, we jump up in quality because in this device we currently find the incredibly fast M2 chip. With a powerful CPU, GPU, and neural engine, advanced applications run even better without any problems at all. Additionally, the MM2 offers advanced multitasking capabilities such as Stage Manager, as well as graphics intensive activities like gaming and 3D design. With M2, we access storage capacities ranging from 128 gigabytes to one terabyte of memory. Finally, we get to the iPad Pro, where we encounter the ultimate power with the M4 chip. With that, you'll experience outrageous performance for the most demanding applications and Stage Manager multitasking, of course. The M4 supports the iPad Pro's thin and lightweight design and stunning display, and delivers even greater performance. Thanks to its capabilities, you get the largest storage capacities, reaching up to 2 terabytes of memory. All current iPad models boast gorgeous liquid retina displays with True Tone technology. The 10th generation iPad has an 11-inch panel that'll give you an excellent viewing experience on the liquid retina display. And the True Tone technology lets you adjust the screen's color and brightness, making things like reading, reviewing notes, or browsing the web feel more natural. The iPad Air comes with two screen sizes, 11 and 13 inches. The iPad Air's immersive liquid retina display has even more advanced features and is compatible with the Apple Pencil Pointer, so you can preview the mark before you make it for greater accuracy. Everything on this screen looks crisp and realistic. On the other hand, the in-cell design further enhances accuracy because images and content appear more at your fingertips. It also features a wide P3 color gamut and an anti-reflective coating. Finally, let's discuss the iPad Pro's powerful screen, which comes in two sizes, 11 and 13 inches. Everything appears stunning on the iPad Pro's Ultra Retina XDR screen, thanks to next-generation tandem OLED technology for exceptional light and color accuracy. Promotion technology adjusts the screen's refresh rate depending on what you're doing making everything feel smoother and more responsive. For more professional users, there's a nano-textured glass option that maintains image quality and contrast while diffusing light to further reduce glare. The Ultra Retina XDR display also supports precision workflows with the Apple Pencil. All current iPad models feature powerful rear and front cameras. In this case, both the 10th generation iPad and the iPad Air have similar camera models with a 12 megapixel wide angle rear lens with a 1.8 focal aperture, which also allows for up to five times digital zoom. We have focus pixel autofocus, smart HDR, and automatic stabilization with video recordings up to 4K at 60 frames per second. As for the front lens, we find a 12 megapixel horizontal sensor with a 2.4 focal aperture automatic stabilization, and smart HDR. Moving on to the iPad Pro, this is where we see a real leap in camera quality. The iPad Pro has a 12 megapixel wide angle camera on the back with a new adaptive True Tone flash that uses artificial intelligence to eliminate shadows and significantly improve document scanning. The LiDAR scanner creates a depth map of any room you're in, so you can fully immerse yourself in augmented reality. And with the M4 chip, you can now use the iPad Pro's advanced cameras to shoot ProRes video. On the other hand, the iPad Pro's 12 megapixel horizontal ultra wide angle front camera supports center framing to make video calls even more engaging. 
In addition, this camera system supports features like Face ID, as well as portrait mode, portrait lighting, and studio quality lighting for selfies. All current iPads are compatible with a multitude of accessories that will make our everyday work easier, whether at home or professional. On one hand, we have keyboards and keyboard cases. For the 10th generation iPad, we find the Magic Keyboard Folio, which has a built-in trackpad for precise tasks and 14 function keys. You'll protect the screen when it's not in use, and you can even remove the keyboard and use the protective back panel as an adjustable stand. In the case of the iPad Air, we can find the Magic Keyboard, which has an integrated trackpad, a floating design, backlit keys, and a USB-C connector for pass-through charging. Plus, with the cantilevered hinge, you can adjust the perfect viewing angle, whether you're sitting at a desk or reclining with the iPad Air on your lap. Moving on to the iPad Pro, we have an improved Magic Keyboard, which offers an incredible typing experience, and a trackpad with a sleek and portable design with an aluminum palm rest. The keyboard has a function row and a USB-C connector for pass-through charging. In this case, we also have the floating cantilever design that adjusts to various viewing angles without any problem. Furthermore, the larger glass trackpad has multi-touch response, supporting precision-based workflows and multi-touch gestures. Finally, let's discuss one of the most useful and extensively used accessories, the Apple Pencil. In terms of compatibility, the 10th of generation iPad, iPad Air, and iPad Pro all function with the Apple Pencil USB-C. It magnetically attaches and links and charges via USB-C. It's perfect for note-taking, marking up photos and signing documents at a more affordable price. The 10th generation iPad also supports the first generation Apple Pencil, which has tilt and pressure sensitivity. This gives you additional control for illustration, graphic design, and photo editing. On a side note, with the iPad Air and iPad Pro, you can use the Apple Pencil Pro, which offers tilt and pressure sensitivity, double tap, and mouse pointer features. Of the Apple Pencil and precision features such as compression, barrel roll, and the touch feedback. Also, it's fully compatible with the Find My app. It attaches magnetically to the side of the iPad and charges wirelessly, so it's always ready when you need it. It's ideal for note-taking, calligraphy, illustration, graphic design, and photo editing. Well guys, that's it for this video with this brief comparison where we saw the differences between the 10th generation iPad, the iPad Air, and the iPad Pro. As always, I hope this video has been helpful. If it has, don't forget to leave a like, which is very important, and subscribe to the channel and ring the bell so you don't miss anything. That's it from me. As always, it's been a pleasure, and see you in the next video.